Our next speaker is from a party which is always on the side of peace. Please welcome Natalie Bennett from the Green Party. Well, it's round about now over in Chicago that they're going to be starting talking. Obama will be speaking to the other NATO leaders and we do want him to be talking. We want him to be talking and saying that the austerity agenda that's being pursued throughout Europe simply isn't working. We want him to be talking about stimulus and we want him to be talking about jobs. But what we also very much want is him and the other NATO leaders to be listening. They should be listening, first of all, to the people of Afghanistan. They should be listening to people like Malaleo Joya, the former MP. If you, you read, she wrote an excellent piece in The Guardian this week saying that she very much fears that the US and its NATO allies are seeking to dominate Afghanistan and the region for a generation, to militarily dominate and control that region. Now, what she's saying, what she wants, what the people of Afghanistan want is they want self-determination, they want democracy, want, they want to make their own choices and that means we have to pull our troops, all of the US troops, all of those foreign troops out of Afghanistan and we need to do it now. And we want to say from here, from in Chicago, and it was all, so many people are saying in Afghanistan, no to the troops, they must go. Over there in Chicago, they should also be listening from the voices from Iran. The green movement there in Iran has demonstrated how dreadful the regime is, but also how much there is resistance within Iran to the regime. And bombing Iran is not the answer. What we need to do is ensure that the people of Iran are able to make a choice for the future, that the people of Iran for themselves can take on that misogynistic, homophobic, undemocratic regime. It's not for us to do, it's for them to do. And finally, in terms of listening, they shouldn't just be listening to us here, they should be listening to all of the people of Britain. Survey after survey, year after year, it's clearly shown British people do not want Trident nuclear weapons. No, no, no to Trident nuclear weapons. That's what the British people say and keep saying. And Cameron and his cronies, indeed all British politicians should be listening to that, taking that message on board and acting on it. So well done to everyone here who's come out today. Well done to the people in Chicago who are gathering with us in the same way. And we're all saying no to troops in Afghanistan, no bombing of Iran, and no to Trident nuclear missiles. Thank you.